I'm Wynn Elliott. This is Tic Tac Doe. Tonight, champion Bill Craig is back to defend against all-time daytime Tic Tac Doe champion Dick Clark. Last week, they played through six tie games. So as we go through tonight's seventh game, as much as $20,000 or more is riding on the result. The following program is being brought to you in living color on NBC. Tick, tack, go. Brought to you tonight by wonderfully mild zest that gives you the look and feel of a fresh, clean, naturally healthy complexion. And here is your host, Win Elliott. And welcome to Tic Tac Doe. This is a game where two players compete against each other by answering questions to line up three X's or three O's vertically, horizontally, or diagonally to make Tic Tac Doe and win the game. Well, last week, our champion Bill Craig and Dick Clark ran neck and neck question for question through six straight tie games. We got into the seventh game to $16,700 when time ran out. And that's where we'll pick up tonight as we meet our first two players. Returning for the fourth week with $4,900. From Westport, Connecticut, a salesman. He sells advertising displays, is married to a school teacher, and his hobby is classical music. Mr. William Craig. <laughs> and from Santa Barbara, California, a writer. He's been a motion picture actor, owned his own furniture factory, and his hobbies are tennis and golf. Mr. Richard Clark. Well, Bill, you fellas, as you know, played the whole show last week, and you kept time. You were up to $16,700. And, Bill, how do you feel tonight? Well, Wynn, I don't know if I could take another half hour like last week. I don't think my nose will be that steady. <laughs> well, fellow, you'd be surprised how $16,700 can steady down your nerves. You just take it easy. <laughs> hey, and Dick. You remember we mentioned you were a bachelor last week? Well, yeah. man, did our telephone line start to ring with the girls wanting your number. Okay. Now, listen, what kind of girl are you looking for? Well, that's a very interesting question. <laughs> to a lot of people. Well, uh, she wouldn't have to be pretty, but I, I would want her to be attractive. Uh -huh. She certainly wouldn't have to be a genius, but with some intellect. And yes. a, a comedian, no, but certainly a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't have to be rich as long as she's wealthy. <laughs> okay, and good luck to you. Now, fellas, I want you to take a good look at the board. You remember last week we went through six tie games. We started in the seventh game. You both got the first question. Bill, you missed. Then Dick got the question right. And then, uh, just as we were about to roll into the next round, time ran out. Now, that's where we'll pick up in just a second. So you fellas relax right now, however. Let's see what can happen when you combine a pretty girl, a swing, and...